Hi all, my name is Gail and I love working in the garden. You can see all the different varieties of plants and flowers and they're all very different but one thing they all have in common is that they all need to grow in soil. that singing or playing music can actually increase the growth of your plants? I don't know whether it's really true, but... Playing music to them doesn't work, then I know a sure way thing.
this soil. It is rich and dark, full of good bacteria, a good place for worms to wriggle through, and it makes perfect conditions for the plants to grow. This beautiful luscious camellia, isn't it gorgeous, stunning? Oh no, but look at this plant. I'll just come over here and we'll check it out. Mmm, not so healthy at all. Hmm, that reminds me of a story, that a parable that Jesus told about the four soils. Stories of the Bible. The parable of the farmer. This is Jesus. Heyo! Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. Wahoo! One day, Jesus went and sat beside the sea. A great crowd gathered around him, Oh, hey, everyone. So he got in a boat and told them many things in parables. Okay, listen to this. He told them this story. A farmer went out to plant some seed. As he scattered it across his field, some of the seed fell on a footpath where it was stepped on, and the birds came and ate it. Other seed fell on shallow soil among rocks. The seed began to grow quickly because the soil was shallow, but the plant soon wilted under the hot sun, and since it didn't have deep roots, it died. Other seed fell among thorns that grew up and choked out the tender plants. Still, other seed fell on fertile soil, this seed grew and produced a crop that was a hundred times as much as had been planted. When Jesus had said this, he called out, anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. Yeah. Later, the disciples came to Jesus and asked what this parable meant. Jesus said, The farmer plants seed by taking God's word to others. The seed that fell on the footpath represents those who hear the message, only to have Satan come at once and take it away. The seed on the rocky soil represents those who hear the message and immediately receive it with joy. But since they don't have deep roots, they don't last long. They fall away as soon as they have problems or are treated badly for believing God's word. The seed that fell among the thorns represents others who hear God's word, but all too quickly the message is crowded out by the worries of this life and the desire for other things. And the seed that fell on good soil represents those who hear and accept God's word and produce a harvest of 30, 60, or even a hundred times as much as had been planted. Jesus' parable is about four different soils. We have the path, the rocks, the weeds, and the good soil. Jesus wants us to be like the seed that falls on the good soil. That person hears about Jesus, he follows Jesus and says yes, and walks with Jesus all the days of his life, or her life. Which person are you in today's story? For God so loved the world, he gave his only son. Whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Thank you for visiting my garden and hopefully we'll see you all again next week. Bye.
Hi kids, it's Wailing from Giggle and I'm here to lead us in prayer today. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for your amazing love for us, for dying on the cross so that we can be forgiven and have eternal life with you. Help us to be like the good soil in the lesson today. Help us to listen to your words and live a life that is pleasing to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.